क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन परसेंटेज ऑफ यू एल ई एट्रीब्यूटेड टू पॉपुलेशन ग्रोथ एंड जी डी पी पर कैपिटल ग्रोथ इन टू वर्ल्ड रीजन्स सो वी हैव बीन गिवन अ ग्राफ एक्स एक्सिस हैज रीजन वन टू टाइम्स रीजन टू टू टाइम्स बट दैट्स बिकॉज द ड्यूरेशन इज डिफरेंट एंड वाई एक्सिस हैज द परसेंटेज एट्रीब्यूशन लाइट ग्रे इज फॉर द अर्बन पॉपुलेशन ग्रोथ एंड द ब्लैक स्टैंड फॉर द जी डी पी पर कैपिटा ग्रोथ इन अ स्टडी ऑफ अर्बन फिजिकल एक्सपेंशन रिचा महता एट ऑल कंडक्टेड अ मेटा एनालिसिस ऑफ मोर देन थ्री हंड्रेड सिटीज वर्ल्ड वाइड टू डिटर्मिन वेदर अर्बन लैंड एक्सपेंशन यू एल ई वॉज मोर स्ट्रांगली इन्फ्लुएंस्ड बाई अर्बन पॉपुलेशन ग्रोथ और बाई ग्रोथ इन ग्रॉस डोमेस्टिक प्रोडक्ट पर कैपिटा a measure of economic activity because efficient national government is necessary to provide urban services and infrastructure that attract economic investment meta et al proposed that absent other factors the importance of gdp per capita growth to ule would likely increase relative to the importance of population growth as governments become more efficient if true this suggests the possibility that blank what we are analyzing is the urban land expansion that is the ule the ule mentioned here is urban land expansion so it is attributed to either population growth or gdp per capita growth basically if the city is expanding becoming bigger it is either due to population growth or due to gdp that is the economic activity whatever is happening the measure of economic activity and efficient national government is necessary to provide the urban services so what is meta et al proposing keeping in mind that other factors he is keeping them absent he is saying that the importance of gdp per capita growth to ule that is urban land expansion would likely increase relative to the importance of population growth as governments become more efficient so let us see which answer we have to choose which choice most effectively uses data from the graph to complete the statement is it a national governments of countries in region 1 experienced declines in efficiency in the period from 2000 to 2014 relative to the period from 1970 to 2000 b countries in region 1 experienced a slower rate of economic growth in the period from 2000 to 2014 than countries in region 2 did despite increasing national government efficiency in region 1 c national governments of most countries in region 2 became more efficient in the period from 2000 to 2014 than they had been in the period from 1970 to 2000 but those of several countries in this region did not d national governments of countries in region 1 and in region 2 generally became more efficient in the period from 2000 to 2014 than they had been in the period from 1970 to 2000 but at different rates so which should we choose so we'll have to go with answer choice a choice a is the best answer because it most effectively uses data from the graph to complete the statement about meta et al's proposal regarding factors that affect urban land expansion ule according to the text if you look at the text ule is influenced by urban population growth and by gross domestic product so this ule can get affected by gdp or by urban population growth by both of them according to the text ule is influenced by urban population growth and by gross domestic product growth per capita reasoning that efficient national governments provide urban services and infrastructure needed to attract economic investment meta et al suggests that as governments become more efficient at providing urban services and infrastructure GDP growth per capita will account for more ULE and urban population growth will account for less. So he is saying that GDP helps more for the urban land expansion compared to population growth. According to the graph, what do we observe? In region one, it saw an increase in the percentage attributed to urban population growth from nineteen seventy to two thousand. Here, the population in region one from nineteen seventy to two thousand is in the sixty percent range, sixty to sixty five percent. and in 2000 to 2014 again uh, both region one only we are seeing the population increased slightly between 70 to 75% we can say 
but what about the gdp gdp growth has decreased in region 1 earlier it was between 35 to 40 percent the gdp in region 1 that is in 1970 to 2000 but then the gdp decreased to about 25 percent from 2000 to 2014 so what does it indicate because the percentage attributed to gdp growth per capita decreased the opposite of what Meta et al. claimed would happen if the governments had been more efficient. The data suggests that governments of Region 1 became less efficient at providing urban services and infrastructure over that period. So why this has happened? The GDP has decreased because Region 1, the government is less efficient. That's why the GDP decreased. And choice B is incorrect. Neither the graph nor the text gives the region's relative levels of economic growth or what effect Meta et al. would expect such growth to have. Furthermore, Meta et al.'s proposal suggests that Region 1's decline in the percentage of ULE attributed to GDP growth per capita from 1970 to 2000. Now here we are looking at again Region 1's decline. We see Region 1's decline in the percentage of ULE attributed to GDP growth per capita that is from 1970 to 2000 which is between 35 to 40 percent the GDP and then in 2000 to 2014 the GDP decreased in region 1 just 25 percent would suggest decreasing not increasing government efficiency over this time so it is not increasing the region 1's efficiency has decreased so B is incorrect choice C is incorrect neither the text nor the graph provides information about the relative efficiencies of different governments in region 2 so we don't have any data about efficiency at all just we can infer that if the gdp decreases that means the efficiency of that government decreases but no direct data is there either in the text or in the graph regarding efficiency and choice d is incorrect meta at all's proposal suggests that more efficient governments will have a higher percentage of their ule driven by gdp growth per capita and a lower percentage driven by urban population growth so for region 2, the percentage of ULE attributed to GDP growth per capita increased from 1970 to 2000. Here it is just uh, 10 to 15% GDP in 1970 to 2000. And then from 2000 to 2014, you can see the GDP improved a lot in region 2. From 10 to 15%, it became 45 to 50% from 2000 to 2014 in region 2 it has increased drastically and uh, the, it is opposite in region 1 the gdp decreased for region 1 which saw the percentage of ule attributed to gdp growth per capita decline over the same period thus whereas the data suggests government in region 2 became more efficient the data for region 1 suggests that those governments became less efficient not more so here D says region, uh, governments of countries in region 1 and gen, uh, region 2 generally became more efficient. But that's not true. Region 1 seems to have become less efficient from 2000 to 2014. That's why the GDP dropped. So that's why D we cannot select. So I hope that's it.